My name is Ezekiel Nidos and I've been a behavior technician for eight months now. It's things, it could be things as the kids hit in, throw in, throw themselves on the floor. Um, I would say the most common would be throwing themselves on the floor and that's something I wouldn't know how to handle. So at first, when I first started, I would always ask them like, hey, how do I do this? How do I do this? Um, you know, all that good stuff. And my kids on the floor, how do I pick them up? Because I was never, before this job, I was never hands on with the kid, you know? And as you go, like I said, um, you get used to your kid and you know your kid's behavior. So that's the good thing about the job is that you'll never feel like, oh, I'll never know what to do if my kid throws a tantrum. That's actually the good thing about the job. Uh, the more you work with the kid, the more you get to know him, there is, it's hard to explain, but you feel it and it's just a connection that you feel one-on-one -on -one with your kid, you know? And your kid will, this is the way I view it, your kid will start listening to you more. Um, you just have that very good connection with the kid. Um, you know, there's different ways to cope with it. Um, like I said, you'll never feel alone and that's something I've understood. And that's something I, you know, I deal with the tantrum just with asking help. I look at the programs on the tablet that I have. I use my natural resources in the room, stuff like that. Um, and you know, that's that's how I deal with the tantrums. You'll never feel alone. Um, there'd be moments for sure where you'll feel like, what I do in this situation, like that's how I was when I first started. Um, but you know, like that's why your BCBAs are there, your supervisors are there. So it's never going to be a case where your kid's throwing a tantrum and he's on the floor and you're not going to get him up for the whole day, you know? For me, there's a lot of things that motivates me to come back to this job. Um, mainly, number one would be just seeing the progress you can make with these kids. Um, like I said, I've been at the job for eight months. I've had the same kid for eight months and just seeing the progress from when he first started to now and like grandma sending me messages here and there saying like thank you for your services like without without you like it'd be really tough just seeing the progress you can make with, with the kid is really like it, it's rewarding in the heart you really feel it you know there's different ways kids can progress through the company meaning they can move from room to room you know you can get to be verbal from non-verbal stuff like that and that's honestly one of the greatest things so you can you can teach them so much things you can it's things simple as washing their hands or learning how to walk you know and that to me is something like i said before it's very rewarding like i said earlier uh i was in high school you see kids with um disabilities and stuff like this and in high school it's a big thing where people make fun of kids with disabilities um life skills kids you know they never be around and groups of friends you know what i'm saying and when i was introduced to a sophomore year that's something that i realized and our goal in life skills for that school was you know just kind of be a best friend to these kids it was called best buddies um we basically just hang out with them. We make them feel accepted, make them feel wanted, make them feel just like a normal kid, you know? Like what kid would not want to feel normal? And that to me is a talent that I've learned here as well. Um, I could go out with my family, I could be with my mom and dad. For example, I went to Disney last summer and there was a kid where me and my brother were like, we, we were just hanging out and the kid kind of like pushed into us and didn't say anything. And me and, bro me and my brother kind of questioned like, oh, like what's wrong with him? And so the mom's like, oh, I'm sorry, like he's special needs. And that to me, it kind of like affected me a little because me and my brother questioned him. And so from there, it's just a talent that you really learn on how to deal with other kids as well. Um, and it's just something you see in your daily life that you take with you everywhere you go. You know, if you see a kid acting some certain way, you just know how to be more patient with them and be more professional with them and not kind of judge them and not kind of question them like I did in that certain situation. And that's something that to me is very awesome. That's like one of the major and biggest talents that I've learned here at this company and I just take that anywhere I go, you know? When you come to this job, you have to understand that there's kids with dis different disabilities. Um, there's a lot of kids who, for example, if you tell them to do something and they do the complete opposite, um, honestly, they some of them will laugh, some of them will think it's a game and they'll just keep doing it. It just depends on your facial expressions and how you handle it professionally and with your patience. You just very have to, you, you have to be very patient with the kid and understand that, like I said before, um, these are kids with special needs, you know, and and in that aspect in this field, you know, you're gonna see a lot of things where you're not used to seeing, you know? Um, like I said, just patience is number one and as long as you have that and you're very professional and don't let it show on your face, your emotions and stuff, if you don't let your emotions get the best of you, you'll be perfect. The world that we live in today, you know, you don't see a lot of good acts and human beings, you know, and, and being in this field, it's every day we have to be a good human being for them, you know, and it's really a good cause and in my heart, and I know for a lot of you guys too, um, you just feel good in your heart, you're doing something good, like I said, just progress is very important, and another thing that motivates me to keep coming to this job is just being with the kid, you know, the way I view it, um, 
I'm basically a big brother to whoever I'm with, you know? And if you're a girl, you'd be a big sister. That's the way I view it. And it's just a fun environment. Yeah, you have to be serious and stuff like that. But like I said, it's just getting to know your kid and a lot of people stress it out, but once, that's what I'm saying, like, just keep going, push, 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 and as months go on, weeks go on, it's, it's gonna be so much easier, and just seeing the progress you can do with your kids, it's, it's something really amazing, and you know, like, when you feel that feeling, you wanna keep doing more.